Okay, guess what that is? You can't guess. You know why? Because it's brand new. It's hot out the supplement oven and it's awesome. It's called astaxanthin. It's pretty much good for everything. It's anti-inflammatory. It's an antioxidant. It's a hundred times more powerful as an antioxidant than vitamin E. And it's good for your brain, for your heart, for your skin, for your eyes. It's pretty much good for everything. So I'm going to tell you how it works, why it works, how to dose it, and where to get it if you want to take it, like I am. Astaxanthin is a carotenoid, which means it's related to vitamin A, but it's a way more potent anti-inflammatory and antioxidant um, because it's a long lipid molecule. So it integrates into cell membranes. So cell membranes are about two layers thick, two fatty layers thick. This molecule goes all the way through both fatty, fatty layers and has an antioxidant portion on the outside of the cell and an antioxidant portion on the inside of the cell. So it protects the cell from both sides from inside where the oxidative molecules are being creative and from the outside where they're attacking from the outside. Since we are on the internet, I might as well talk about the vanity applications first. Astaxanthin is really good for your skin. It improves skin elasticity, it improves skin tone, it reduces age spots and wrinkles, and it imp improves skin hydration. And because the molecule is colored, it's actually kind of an orangey red molecule. If I opened this capsule, you'd, you'd be able to see it. Um, it actually confers a nice glow, kind of a, a tan from the inside when you take it enough. Um, it's the molecule that actually gives flamingos their pink color, it gives salmon their pink color, and that's because they eat the krill, which eats the algae, which produces this chemical, astaxanthin. Um, it also protects your skin from UV rays, so it's like taking an internal sunscreen. Astaxanthin is also really good for your brain. Uh, your brain is only as strong as its cell membranes, and because this incorporates into the cell membranes, makes the cell membranes more fluid, and protects the cell membranes from oxidative stress at multiple points, uh, this really protects the brain. It seems to reverse some signs of cognitive decline in patients with Alzheimer's, and if taken long term, can probably prevent cognitive decline. A tissue that is really similar to the brain is the retina. It's actually technically part of the brain. Um, so this protects the retina by increasing the microvascular cir circulation uh, in the little tiny arteries that feed the retina, kind of the same as it increases the microvascular circulation to the skin, which improves elasticity and all that stuff that we talked about with the skin. Um, it can prevent macular degeneration, which is the most common type of age-related blindness and age-related vision loss, and it can prevent diabetic retinopathy by the same mechanism. So when people lose their vision as a consequence of diabetes, um, this can prevent that process. So all my diabetics are going on this because it protects their eyes, it protects their heart, it lowers their blood sugar, which is something I'm not going to talk about in this post, but it does, uh, and it's generally protective for membranes, which is going to help the kidneys as well, which we have to worry about in diabetic people. Since you are using the internet right now, you're probably young enough that you don't care about your heart health, but just tell your parents about this part. Uh, astaxanthin protects your heart in the following ways. It improves cholesterol. So it improves the good cholesterol, it makes it go up. It improves oxidation of the bad cholesterol, LDL, so it prevents the LDL from breaking apart and gunking up on the sides of the arteries. It improves triglycerides, which are the most inflammatory particle. It's a sugar attached to a cholesterol molecule, so those are really terrible. It lowers those, and it lowers an inflammatory marker that's associated with intravascular infl inflammation called CRP. Also, if you give this stuff to rats with high blood pressure, their blood pressure goes down. We don't know if it does that in humans, uh, but it's looking good from animal models. So astaxanthin protects your heart. If you feel like you've just been sold a subprime mortgage, I totally don't blame you. This sounds too good to be true, um, but I promise you all the information I've just given you is from strong primary literature scientific sources. Uh, I take this at a dose of about 10 milligrams because I like to go high because it's so beneficial. Um, but you can, the therapeutic dose in most of the trials was 6 to 8 milligrams. Um, you can also take lower if you don't have any of the problems I was talking about. Like around 4 milligrams is a good maintenance dose for, for most people. Um, this has been proven safe at a dose of up to 20 milligrams per day, and I'm sure it's safe even higher than that. Uh, there are tons of brands out there. This happens to be Protocol for Life Balance. Uh, which is nice, inexpensive, and high quality. Jaro makes a good one. There are really a lot out there, and I haven't found one that feels fake or sketchy yet if it's a medical-grade supplement.